Read sneaky tweet. <laughs> a cat jumped into the toilet while I was peeing and I started peeing on him. Sneaky peed on his cat and then told people. You knew. Oh, you knew. Annie Soup. And. Ding -ga Broken Champion. Hmm. Honestly, pretty good looking draft from CLG. And a Tom Kench for FlyQuest. They do not want to win. I would much rather be CLG champion wise this game. Fly is still probably a better team. So perhaps they can work their magic, but. ends up uh you know taking effect this time around one of the big things for annie of course is that she does get to start with her stun now no vision though currently see if there's a delayed invade because <laughs> talbox is dangerously close oh he's there he was trying to get them to throw out what they got for fly quest but did not oh. quick enough he has contracts near on by going for it yo what's up dude okay, so yo oh palafox I heard you gave your cat a golden shower. Any comments? Uh, you know, may have happened. Maybe. Not on purpose. How did your cat react? <laughs> Didn't really, like, just, like, jumped in the toilet. It was just like, wait a sec. And it, like, it didn't even freak that it was getting pissed on. Did, it, did you, like, wash it off after? Or what? Yeah, yeah, I'd give it a bath. It's first bath. A shower show into a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! Yeah, it was it was great. But I guess he learned his lesson. Don't jump in the toilet bowl. Oh my god! Dude, you can't gank Tom Kinch. He's just gonna eat. Oh my god! What a boss cleanse. Oh wow, win some flash to block the Sedge Q so he couldn't Q flash friends. It's good. Interesting. Hey, what's your game time? Let's fucking go. I was like five seconds ahead of you. That cleanse was so fast. Yeah, that was a good flash from Tom, but. Guess it's down now? I mean. Maybe Prince would have died. Mm -hmm. Prince, like, might have just flashed it, is the thing, I guess. Might have just fucked around and flashed it anyway. Well, I mean, contracts, like, if, if his Q didn't get blocked by Winsome, he would have been able to Q it, Prince, oh, and Prince would have had to flash, and then the W would have hit. Contracts would just flash on you. Yeah, that's true. From that true. range, you can't avoid it. Yeah, okay, it was good then. Worth. Mm-hmm. I'm a bit confused how Tom so Kench ended up being the pick here. Like, this champion sucks ass. Even Aphelios is rare. Aphelios is at least, like, a good champion. Tom Kench is just a sack of shit. <laughs> what about top lane? I would rather see it top than support, honestly. Full AP top Kench. I would probably, like... Seeing Tom Kench support is probably about the level of Malphite support or like Mundo, like just why? True. Oh my mm. god, this is awkward. It's so close. Impact has full mana though. No, he doesn't. It's like half. Well, he's got enough for every. Sp oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> he jumps into the barrel, trying to kill nah. it. No, th that's legit how the matchup goes. I played this as Jax. <clears throat> you think you can like jump and hit it, but like it's just, it will never happen. <laughs> Unless the GP is sleeping. <laughs> oh, good dodge by Poom. Doesn't matter, but it was a good dodge. Give it to Prince. Give it to Prince. Nice. Can someone explain to me why Impact's not using the skin that is literally made after him for this champion? He says it's a dog shit skin, and he doesn't want your money. Don't use it. Hmm. 
In fact, down to 50% HP. And they're actually going to go for it. A dog skin. Oh my god. Speak is just stuck in the pit. Can someone... Wait, why did Twitch remove oh. the jabated emote? Oh. Fuck. Oh, shit, Vikla? Oh. Oh, wait, Dogla's gone. Wow. What a crazy fight. Vikla just gets out. Wait, he might die, though. Nope. nope. Never mind. Holy bonkies! Wait. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, no, speak up. Oh! Mm. Honestly, worth. That was a spicy meatball. Let's go. I'm surprised Vikla survived that. He played it really well. That's what you want to see. Yeah, I think they just slammed their dicks into GP, and he just died. He didn't really get to do much. Because he looked pretty fucking dead. Like, his E was right next to him. He just got yeah. in, got in the gangbang. He ulted away, though. Like, threw them. He made space, then got his third Q charged. So he kind of ults away. Yeah, his like, third Q. slightly Actually, no, he doesn't. He just flashed. Okay. So he's able to escape. Oh, that was close. Is that the combo you affiliates root into Tom W? <laughs> I guess. Uh oh. Man, this lane actually seems so rough for Jax. Wouldn't it just be so chill to play GP LCS? You just shoot some barrels, get some gold, press R, and you GP's win. broken. And you just fucking win. Man, having a good Yone mid on the team is like just the most free low shit ever. Mm. You need to play well with your jungler though to make it work. Your jungler needs to always be there, pretty much, until you're ahead. Really? Why? Mm, I don't know, so you can just properly push and trade. Huh. But he's pretty safe while trading. Unless he just dies in a stun. Mm, it's not that safe. I think he is. I mean, you don't see a ton of Yone mid, but... I mean, I, I'm not really referring to competitive, mostly. I'm more thinking solo queue, but like... I mean, most melee champs need some level of babysitting. Like, if you go in while they're generally sitting there, you're just gonna fucking yeah. But shit. it's just the way that Yone goes in is a lot different because you know, he just throws his soul out. Like, he's not usually gonna try to fight you without his E up. Yeah, but like, so he has that big safety net. What if there's just a jungler sitting right next to your E when you go in? Yeah, I mean, if your lane's pushed. Being generated by CLG, the two dragons here for which he is currently. Yeah, I mean, if you're getting pushed in as Yone, you're not very threatening to anyone. I'm just saying, like, once you have this point where Yone is just perma shoving mid, literally farming plates yeah, in front of yeah. Salas' face, just yeah, showing yeah, yeah. up to any fight, it's just cursed. That's definitely oppressive for sure. Yeah, I think, I think the first game I saw Yone, like, I, I didn't play a ton right when he came out. So I played against him, like, I don't know, a couple weeks after. And I just got, like, legit butt fucked so hard by Yone. Like, I was just under my turret getting repeatedly killed. Mm -hmm. I, I was playing, like, an AD carry or something. Like, I don't know. That happened to me as, like, Victor. I was getting filled mid against him. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty awful feeling just getting dove and then... Oh, shit. Is this orange down? The stopwatch? Oh, he's dead. Look, it's the gap closer. Is he? Oh, he is. You're right for once. The, oh. ga the gap closer Yone ult. Oh, and the top turret died with no one getting local. Unlucky. See, I mean, that that's literally the mid gap. They were winning the 2v2 top, but you got a mid laner running to show up. <laughs> I feel like this is just how League's meant to be played. Like, all the... You see this from every good winning team, for the most part. Like, you just... Number two advantages, mid. yeah. And then they're just constantly pushing and moving toward the lanes. Like, you don't even need to full rotate. Like, you don't need to dive. You just need to pressure them. Yeah. Like, look, look at FlyQuest Vision. They got pinks on both sides of mid. So any play CLG tries to do on him, he'll at least know it's coming. Probably all, avoid it. All lanes are connected. And the team is good. 
dude. That is so woke. Mm. It's all connected, bro. <laughs> I mean, that's a harsh lesson to learn, honestly. You just play solo queue, fucking... You're like, alright, like, this game's going to shit. Like, let's just 2v2 and let's see if we can win that. But then, like, you're against a good team, randomly. Now, not, not in a solo queue game. And it's, ne it's never a 2v2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's legit, like, the best way to play. You got, like, a, a losing bot lane or something, rather than just trying to show up as a jungler and swinging it. Well, like, obviously, you can do that at times, but if their jungler is there, which, you know, why wouldn't he be? You're going to get dicked on. Mm -hmm. So most times, it's better to just go through mid. You bring your mid laner down with you. Oh my god, huge Aphelios damage tickling everybody! Fortunately, it's a one item of Aphelios, and it's not going to kill everybody yet. Tampers, no! The gold is pretty close in this game for some reason. I guess Silas is first strike and they have a GP. Actually padding the gold stats a bit. Swimming in cash. I oh, know. Feels pretty good for Fly, though. Until GP starts doing GP things. This looks so unplayable for Palafox, but like, was First Strike really the correct choice in this game? Oh. Would Conquer not just make its trades way better? That does sound like the Silas against the melee need Conquer. I mean, sure, he's getting gold, but he's also getting his fudge packed. Not quite sure this is worth it. Yeah. I mean, it. I don't really know how much of it, that has influenced this more so just that 3v3 they had. Uh-huh. And Yone getting two kills off it. Yeah, I mean, I think the rune choice definitely affects it. He would have been stronger in the fight. Yeah. First Strike is definitely not an early game rune by any means. Mm -hmm. Or a screw machine rune. It's like a... Scaling rune that helps you burst, but the real advantage would be like when you proc it enough and you got like a bonus 1k out of it, and you hit a spike yeah, over the enemy. I'm just curious about like Silas is just completely giving up on going Everfrost. I still think it's got, probably got a place. Everyone's going Rod, which I mean, obviously it's a good item, but it's really never. Oh, Frost. oh big gangbang, Vikla. Oh, oh, good flash by Contracts, keeping him in. Damn. Almost gets out. Actually, a pretty good attempt on the escape by Vikla, but good play by CLG. Yep. Fly quest already in position to punish, kind of. No, actually, not. Not really. Oh. They didn't do anything at that midway. I thought they might hit the turret a bit, but probably not a good idea. What do you about Prince's build? It's human. Gale instead of Kraken? Yep. Why? Nobody goes Kraken on Felios. Why? It's too vulnerable. Doesn't have damage anyway with his passive. But not really a passive. It takes up an ability slot, but he gets... Bonus base stats. At, at his choosing, he gets AD, attack speed, or lethality. But he gets them all eventually. Does he still get stats for leveling up? Yes. So he gets like double the AD per level up that other ADs get? Uh, yeah. He takes the hmm. thing. I mean, it's in place of another ability, but does make him quite a stat ball. Yep. Makes him hit real fucking hard. I actually don't know what the meta is now for skill leveling. Oh, what a sneak. I, they must know this ward's there. Yeah. I like this by FlyFam. Ooh, they blew orbed. Are they close? Wait, yeah, they're, they're close. How did CLG smell that? Commit, commit. Oh my god, this is actually... I think he, he can get fight. in. Oh, oh my god, he got eight. Never Tom mind. Tom ate his ass. <laughs> Uh-oh, can they chase him down? Nope. Impact already had to flash out. Looks like they should be fine. Uh-oh, Vickla's getting a little hornky. Wow. I'm actually surprised CLG 
sniff that out. Like, I don't think most people would have blue orb there. Mm. No, it, it's different. Like, we're on spectator POV. You're not really playing the game, so it's way harder to feel it. Yeah, but, like, I'm thinking about it from their vision. Like, they had a ward right out to the pit. They saw Tom walk by. Him and Jax are, like, clearing vision at the blue. Yeah, but, like, Aphelios not showing is such a, like, all right, what's this guy doing? Mm. Like, he recalled. Oh. Like, I just. Well, that was quite the engagement. Went in and fucking died. Unlucky. Huh. But, yeah, like, if you're, if you're tracking Aphelios specifically, you know, you see him on midwave. He disappears. He's gone. He's like, all right, where the fuck is he? Like, or, you know he recalled. It's like, all right, like, it's been enough time since he recalled. Like, he should be here on the wave, and he's not. And it's like, all right, where the... Where could he be? Baron? Uh-huh. Wow, it looks so hard for Sa for Yone to take these jungle camps. Yeah. Really glad they changed this. If it's a slow enough Baron, like, it becomes so obvious. Like, th there's nothing to do on the map, like... You know, there's not jungle camps that take forever. There's not like mm -hmm. some other shit in the jungle. Like someone camping. You'd be able to sniff that out pretty easily. Yeah, and I mean, honestly, I, like, I saw it on the spectator POV, so if they didn't notice it, they're just kind of noobs. Mm hmm. Wow, he's dead. <laughs> That's, That's what me yep. playing against Yone was. It was that bottom tier two right there. He just did that. That is the Yone. Wait, did he not hit Q or R and then just fucking auto him to death? Uh, yeah. It was just gap closers. Big look kind of nice on the Yone. Oh! Oh, he missed the Q. Oh! And he's fine. What about or collector? Is he? I'm so he sorry. Oh. Wow. You're dead. Not even going to give him a chance to outplay. He just flashes on him. Says no bullshit. Ooh. So what's the reason this Zeri has IE and Sevnivori? I feel like I see Zeri's do both. I... Like, when, it, when Navori was first change, before it was 40% crit, I was just looking at it and I was like... It's a pretty significant damage difference, like, going IE versus Crick Blades, because, like, your W does more damage with IE, because it's a crit. Oh, are we getting to fight? Holy shit, Impact is in that ass. Oh, wait, Big Barrel, Big... Oh, wow. Did he mean to hit it early? That seemed like a mistake. Maybe it's going to get hit. He, like, yeah, he, I mean, I don't think he, you, you don't really have the option of just not blowing it up ASAP unless you want them to hit it. It was kind of on their side, though. Like, right on Jax. Mm. What the fuck just hit Palf? Is that the turret? It must have been the turret. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. It's not look very good for CLG. Oh. oh, God. Impact is on such a deep flank. Oh, uh, GG. Damn. It got smoked. They did indeed. Get rolled into a bit of a blunt there. Damn, GP is not one shotting. Surprisingly. Need some more gold. Yep. Not ahead enough. Yeah, I mean their whole team's very behind. They're up against Soul. Oh, oh, okay. There you go. That was a big hit. Oh, but yeah. I was saying like I was testing out. So I'm like a dummy, fucking quick blades versus IE on Zeri. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't know why you would go quick blades, because the IE is just a pretty good amount more damage. But I think you'd just be valuing that, right? Like, you want more upfront damage, you go IE. And if you think the fights are going to last longer, then quick blades will 100% be better. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of CDR. Yeah, like, just... Your E will constantly be up, is basically what it is. Uh, whereas with IE, like I was testing that too, 
the E will come up like half a second after the E buff wears off. So like 5.5 seconds or so. Because mm-hmm. the buff lasts five seconds. But with, with quick blades, like you'll get your E back in like two and a half seconds or so. Which means that you can use it to get over walls or, you know, potentially juke shit in a fight. Yeah. I think they're both good. Like, I think she's one of the few that truly do have the option between which one you want. And I, I think that that is cool. Like, I don't think it's definitively obvious, like, which one's better. Mm, sounds like the word of someone who doesn't know which one's better. <laughs> I mean, neither do these Damn, pro players. Damn, so. does not look happy with himself after that one. I think he played fine, didn't he? I don't think he had a bad game, but yeah. maybe... Not up to his own expectations. <laughs> Just keep sh- shaking the head. <laughs> Solid 20. Oh my god. Big fucking guns. Jesus. You have a different clip? What the fuck? (laughs) 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 He just keeps looking. (laughs) What the fuck? Close his eyes, opens them. Question, Sneaky. Yo. When spiders get into the house, how do they usually get there? Like, wh- where do they come from? But like, cracks. Obviously outside, but, like, are they coming in through the windows, the door, the fucking walls? I... How about, like, vents? I feel like vents would make the most sense. Vents? How would they get into the toilet? Like... Who the fuck said the toilet? Some people in chat. Okay, well, they're idiots. They spawn in if the light level's low enough? Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. No house is perfectly sealed? Yeah, but, like... Where? It's not just spiders, though. It's, like, other bugs, too. I mean, obviously, there's things that are tinier that would have an easier time. Are are doors looser than you think? Dude, what if doors this whole time have been looser than everyone thinks? So they just come in through a door that's closed. How does that work? That's illegal. What if you lock it? If you lock well, the door, can the spider still come in? The spider would probably have to knock. I mean, that would be rude. I actually haven't seen a spider in a while, but I did have, like, a period of a month where, like, I saw three different spiders, and it freaked me the fuck out every time. Nah, the real fuckiest one was, like, I was in my shower, and it just starts, like, dangling in from the ceiling. (laughs) Like, that actually terrified me. It was, was like, a midnight shower, too, like, not just a random morning shower. Where it was dark, and you had all the lights off. It freaked me out real bad. Did you let him take his bath with you? No, I mean, he didn't, like, drop down into the shower, but I saw him, like, dangling into the middle of the bathroom, and so I had to, like, get out of the shower so it didn't, like, land and fucking hide and freak me out. (laughs) That's funny. Wait, you're right. I bet it did see your cock, huh? I mean, it was the last thing it saw. Oh, God. Before it got smashed. Did you smash it with your dick? Oh, God. I mean, yeah, it was the only thing I could find that was big enough. <laughs> like, I couldn't find my, my, like, baseball bat. Or, like, a two-liter bottle, like, something, like, a normal size. So, like, it's the closest thing I could find. Uh-huh. Okay. That does work. 
You can kill the spider with penis. What does he mean by smash? <laughs> <laughs> you smashed the spider? Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it had some long legs. It was looking good. I was laid. I was. It was. I was lonely. <laughs> Them thick thighs. Mm-hmm. Really it's a pretty big. What the fuck? And he's what was on up, JoJo's dude? water bottle? He had like a big ass napkin on his water bottle. Maybe he spills a lot. You have to think about I, not just the play that happened in front that of even face, prevent spilling. Opportunity talk. Why not? Because <laughs> it would just come out the fucking cap. It would spill on him anyway. Uh oh, Jojo's getting himself in trouble. It like not only protects the trouble, bottle though. from getting wet. But he actually can just walk up into those four champs with that much CC and just walk out, no flash. An immortal's will is that allowed? That seems a bit okay, illegal, so but... I wonder if just IMT like had used their abilities on Harold. They're like, there's no way he actually face-checks this. And then maybe JoJo made the read. He's like, it would be so risky to face-check this that they're probably not even going to expect it and have their stuff ready so I can actually get away with it. Uh, 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 and it's kind of like a mind game because now they're going to be like holding their stuff next time and they're going to be like, this guy's gonna check and then like you, you're really just like playing so far in advance and then games what does he obtain from said face check exactly he gets in their head he gets in their head for the next play uh -huh. they'll expect him to do a bad check and then he won't so they'll waste time expecting him to make a mistake i see yes yes do you not do you not understand how like strategic mind games work Yes, I am totally getting the mind game. The one where Rich sneak, Sneaky gets confused by Meteos. Where Sneaky can't keep up? Yeah. Sneaky just loses to Not Meteos' big brain. Yep. He's really got me. Why are they putting their star player revenge on fucking Renekton? Who carried in their wins? I don't remember. Was it Rubenge? Mm -hmm. I remember Tactical and Fleshy had a pretty good Lucianami game. <laughs> that <laughs> sounds wrong, but... <laughs> no, they did. One of their wins was Lucianami. I totally forgot about it if it happened. I mean, I'm pretty sure at least I'm, I'll double check because now you're fucking gaslighting me. I mean, I just remember the Menting, so I can't recall them honing some noobs. I don't even know who they won against. Immortals won with Lucian Nami against CLG. Against CLG? Week two. Okay. And they cared. Like the uh, I mean, everyone on Immortals did pretty well. CLG just like straight bent over. Okay. But it does look like, yeah, bot lane had most KP. Nice job trying to gaslight me though, but unfortunately Meteos' intuition is too powerful. What about the other game? Do you think Sneaky's actually colorblind or gaslighting? I think he does it for attention. <laughs> There's probably people who do think that. There's no fucking way he doesn't see that, dude. Come on, I can see that. Oh my god. Hey, Wukong. Oh my god. Tactical goes fuck, in. That was aggressive. Does he know he's playing Aphilios? Like, they're damage dealer like i don't think you're supposed to just go in and die in the beginning of a fight oh my god wow, he just got so deal. much health and he's dead and he's dead <laughs> man do you think maybe if they had some kind of like sustained damage dealer that fight could have gone better i don't know i didn't hate it but it was pretty aggressive i'll say that it was fucking troll <laughs> like if the rest of your team is playing shit like Camille, I mean, they have fucking, Rise. Rise is if you have like cleanup champs, it's fine, like divers and shit. But you have just people to CC lock champs down for you, and you have to kill them all. You can't just kill yourself. See it again. Oh, Rise isn't here, so I guess I don't technically have Rise. 
Nah, he, he's yeah, he's he's too deep. Yeah, he's way too deep. Like you think just go for uh, not getting the kill. Yeah, I mean, like, Wukong's legit out of the fight at that point. Like, why are you taking yourself, someone who's completely able to fight, Yeah. and using your biggest cooldown just to kill yourself? Like, huh? That is a giga troll. Hope that 300 gold's worth it. It would be worth if there was, like, like at the same point of the game here, if Wukong had a big bounty. Because then he's getting a lot more value out of the kill than they are killing him. Yeah, I mean, like, it'd be fine if they were behind and that was, like, the very end of the play. Nothing else is going to happen. But, like, yeah. the fact that all of IMT collapsed and they were expecting a team fight and then they just lost it because they don't have their AD carry is real troll. Yeah. But I also think, it, again, it has to do with, like, the champions in the game. Like, if you if you have carries, like, jungle carry, top carry, <laughs> it's more okay. It's just totally dependent on, like, what your team comp is. Holy fucking shit. Flashai is just getting banged in the ass here. Oh, oh so many chakrams, dude. Not dead. So many chakrams go in, dude. He's dead. Okay, don't go in. Wow. I baited him. I'm sorry, Tactical. He saw the play as well. There were so many chakrams. Wow. They're not going to kill that. What the hell? <laughs> dude, they're like hard out overestimating how much damage they do. Yeah. That was quite the gangbang. I'm surprised Silas didn't die. He had so many chakrams, dude. Yeah, he pushed her. How did he not kill everyone? Oh, he has fleet. He has... No lethal. Actually, fleet is kind of cringe. No, like I feel like conquer lethal tempo kind of cleans up there. Yeah, fleet is not a good rune. I mean, especially if your role in the team is to be your your primary damage source not having lethal is so much damage loss i don't think you need fleet versus zero yumi i think it's a uh, oversight uh-oh blaze olive getting jumped on oh my god jojo just confidently Wait. sends the max range nah, he's got a fucking ult bye peace He could 100% get out there, bro. There's no way he gets hit by that chain, is there? Mm, I mean... I mean, obviously, it's just up to just movement. What he was gonna do. Yeah. Right. I think it would have, like... He's, like, so far. Based on that range, I think it would be hard to avoid it. It seemed like JoJo still had time to, like, throw his other abilities before shooting the second part of the chain. He just sent it. Looking rough for the immortals here. I don't know, man. Blaze, like, he didn't really What do we think about try. this revenge strategy here of, like, leashing the Gromp and then walking into their whole team while you're used down and, like, not even getting the Gromp? Is that worth? <laughs> wow. I, I think Blaze 100% griefed that. I just checked again. He's out. I think Revenge 100% grief that. Blaze is just out, and he just doesn't want to get out. I don't know. What's your game time? I fucked the timer. 3, 4, 55, 6, 7. Okay. Oh my god. Monkey Man, that was grief as shit. He doesn't die? Dude, where's the damage? Why don't they Not fucking die? Here. Dude, EG's yeah. griefing so hard, man, and they're just not getting killed for it. What the fuck? They're quite ahead. Baron time. Yo, let's just fucking Baron. Yes. Oh. He's... he's he getting slapped. Wow, I kind of wanted them to keep going there. That would have been fucking hilarious. That... Rizal animation was... Absolutely non-existent. What the fuck? Uh-oh. You're telling me a blaze all of his caught? No way, dude. That just... 
That's not possible. His team never has vision control, dude. Hop off his dick. <laughs> Bro, I, I didn't even see how he got caught there. He was just minding his own business, farming Grom. Gets gang banged. Oh. This doesn't look good for IMT. Tactical's free hitting. He's doing a lot of He's damage. He's owning everyone. He's doing oh, no oh, oh, damage. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. Wow. Dude. Every fucking time. Damage. Dude, if he had legit lethal, like, their whole team dies. Yeah. Or conquistador, whatever, bro. Like, what the fuck? The fact that that still went IMT's way is kind of wild. So EG's starting Baron. I don't know, dude. Like, they're doing a lot of damage. They just aren't killing anybody. They all go over the wall. I'm with you! I mean, Tactical is doing, like, good damage here. He's doing pretty yeah, much yeah. all of his team's damage, but, like, yeah. it could be more, is what we're saying. It has to be more. EG's been legit griefing, and they're not getting punished. That was, like, the first one. Oh, and they're back on it. First one, what? Not getting punished? Like, no, getting punished. We're, like, oh, going well for yeah. MT. Yeah. All right, and it's gone. I mean, even that, like, that first fight where Tactical Flash and Suicided, Rise wasn't there. And then right the there, way. yeah, I mean, he just wasn't there to fight yet. And then this one, the Baron, where they literally just fought and they replayed, Rise died. Mm -hmm. Like, Rise just has not been involved. He's the missing piece. Brendan's oh. having a good time here. Tactical's weapons are dog shit. Oh, Rise is caught again. What the f? Getting stuck on purple gun as Aphelios is so cursed for fights. What was the I think purple question? chakrams is the worst. I'm saying, like, isn't any gun fine for team fighting as long as you're not stuck on purple? Yeah. But, I mean, Infernum and purple are fine. Can help your yeah, team I mean, set still up. Still a lot less damage than other things, though. Yeah, but rooting a good portion of their team is really valuable. Like you're not gonna ulti that, but yeah, I mean it's utility, but damage-wise, it's bad. Yeah, definitely worse. So you think it just shoots and does damage? Lil bro? Uh, like. Nah, but a Blaze Olive is actually trying to win here. I'm pulling back two inches. Like, he fucking knows they're here, by the way. I, I like, really don't want to just flame Blaze, but, like... But I'll do it. But I don't holy want fuck, to, man. Here I go. Like, he doesn't care. This is going to hurt me more than it hurts you, son. Why does he just die? It's not like he's doing anything with pressure. He just dies. Like, it's such a weird trait. Like, it's it's similar to Summit. I, I think it's, he just doesn't recognize when he's in danger very well. He doesn't have the secret... Uh, fucking one for all's power. No. He doesn't have the danger Anime sense. Reference. He doesn't uh, have it. Uh, He's not getting see. the lightning bolt. Blaze Olive does have a tendency to get caught out. I mean, like, okay, at first, it was only on Victor. Where it was just, he plays it and he just perma-dead. I mean, Rise is similar. And now expanding his champ pool and his strategy. <laughs> Like, I'm not coming here just to shit on players, right? But, like, him specifically is just perma-dead. For no real reason. Like I said, he's not true. 
What are they? Holy fuck, he doesn't know how to kill Baron. Why are they holding that? What? To give him a chance to steal it. Oh, hold oh, up. Look. FBI. Look. Oh, oh, nah, God. He's allowed to do that in tactical. Oh, oh, not God. dead. Actually not dead, but I don't think he's gotten auto off either. Oh, goodness. And he's emoting after that? After this performance, he's throwing up the emotes? The dabs? Hey, it's over. My god, Kenny is in despair. He says, I didn't even... <laughs> what more can I do? I didn't die! <laughs> Wait, was he in the fountain with Death Globe in there? Mm, actually, I don't know. He probably died. Yeah, he, he did die. Shit. No! My KDA! you saying, dude. Wait, he had 100% KP. Malkai. <laughs> Him and Tactical. Yeah, I mean... I, I mean, I feel for Kenvy. He's, he does not have the strongest lanes to work with, and that's quite hard to jungle for. Yeah. I mean, he was fucking troll building too, though, so. Like, not this game. Games before. Mm. This is worse than Dignitas? No, it's not. No, I think Dig is worse for sure. Watching Dig play is something else. I mean, we just like, want to see the know how to describe it. it. It feels like they're just not in, like, a normal state of mind, that team, before they go on. Like, they're playing on 48 hours no sleep or some shit. Yeah, like, I mean, we just want to see the teams putting up a fight. Yeah, like, let's say they lost every game of the season. If, if each of their games isn't just like, all right, we fucking died for his blood, GG. <laughs> like, they fucking actually fight. They, they make the game somewhat competitive until a point. Then it, it feels, it would feel so much different. It feels like they're just kind of like half-ass standing around waiting to lose and then like periodically just doing a really bad play. Yeah. Twenty minute Gamba, put in your points. Just you have twenty minutes. I'm sure you'll do something nice with it. How is this nine bot lane getting zoned? Wait, young flash? I didn't see. What the fuck? I'm pulling back. Instant replay action. Oh. <laughs> okay, flash to Rakan W. Hmm. Uh he would have taken a lot of fucking damage. I mean it's not the worst, but like he doesn't have E yet, right? So he can't just E out. I, I'm I'm pretty sure Zaya had W as well. Like the, Lucian would take extreme damage. Yeah, she did. Wow, Blabber two points in Q, not even leveling W. Oh, Ooh, Genku? Oh, can he just do that? Dude, the sapling disappeared, so they don't know they have a ward. So it's like a good test for him as well, I think. I think. I think one of those players where there's still for sure those question marks when you look at one. Does he not know Malkai's path? I was in the ER less than twenty four hours for and science gone. For heart issues. Yeah, what else did it say? Oh god. Oh my so... god. He got Shrek. That still works. It's, wait, that looked so troll. They could redive this. Alright. They don't care. Like, Someone needs to tell me, why are you ever starting dives with something other than Elise's the E? Like, it makes no fucking sense. Just let Elise shoot the E. Let him cover shot. If it, if it lands, you start the dive. If you start tanking before you shoot the stun, they'll just flash her stun and be fine. Yeah. That way you make it so if, if you want to flash the Elise stun, you waste your flash before anyone's tanking. Yeah. It's actually troll as hell. I mean, I, I am curious if they just thought they would not be diveable because this is like... You just get into a position where it's undodgeable. Like, like he's he's hugging the bottom of the turret here. You just go left of him. This is pretty unlucky for C9. That sapling faded right as Piosic walked by, so they probably weren't expecting this. Yeah. Uh-oh. No sums. He has flash, but... Oh... Wow, okay. that, oh, the bubble missed. Ooh, 
ugly execution. I feel like that really should have been a kill. He's shooting these cum shots pretty weird, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Very impatient cum shotting. Like, he but hit for Sven, instance, but, like, like, he didn't he care. Did yeah, he, he stopped Rakan, but he could have just flashed the Rakan W. Yeah, yeah. Just walk in, flash Rakan W. Yeah, you, you can be way more patient with these Elise stuns. Oh, he's back again. Just, like, sending at max range of the first person you see is... Oh. Ooh. Wait, they're going Let's for more. Like they don't know that. Maokai's here. Maokai's fucking dead. Oh, they do know he's here. He has flash. He's fine. Come shot. If he lands the come shot. Oh, he didn't even shoot oh, it, Blabber. Nah, but he's trolling, man. You... Like, just mind game wise, if you shoot your stun right after throwing out your W, it's so much harder to shoot. Yeah. Like, you just start walking out of menacingly. They're like, they got their finger on the trigger, like, ready to juke or flash or whatever. <laughs> oh, my God. Animation. Oh, he didn't go for it. That was definitely a kill. Wow, that. Dude, that didn't even feel like it would have had range. That was, like, so close. That, like, the, the come shot just fading. There's on the way pings mid. There's a lot of pings for C9 here. Can they just do this? The wagon? I mean, Blabber just hovered him for like 10 minutes. He'd spend six before Berserker. It seems pretty normal considering Berserker got dove and killed. Yeah. He's actually like the lowest level. Wait, is he gonna hit six before TL ball lane? Really? I think he is because of this wave. Unless he's that far behind. Mm, yeah, I mean, TL spallings. Six probably when they catch it. They are down XP. Okay. Wait, someone's playing Scion. I just realized this. Bro, everybody's playing Scion. Yeah. It's looking pretty good in a lot of these games, too. Just Jack Show become fucking invincible. <laughs> oh, wait, dude. I think... I think that rule still exists. Like, if you're playing Scion and there's a colorblind guy, you have to use, like, Mecha skin. Really? It's legit a rule. If they have a colorblind guy, is it not just all the time? No. Hmm. I don't know who's... Like, there's not, like, a list of colorblind people, though. I feel like they would just make it a rule all the time. Like, I remember hearing a rule, you have to use that Scion skin. I never heard any condition about they have to have a colorblind player. Yeah, I mean, it only mattered against colorblind people. It was kind of like when Tom Kent was first released. We had fucking three colorblind people on C9. It was me, High, and Jensen. Just none of us could see his health bar. Like, he had gray health, but it just looked like he was full HP the whole time. <laughs> it was so dumb. Three colorblind people. Yeah. Oh, Piosik camping on a ward. Unlucky. They they ended up changing it pretty quickly on Tom Kench. And I think that's when they realized that like, like oh fuck like yeah colorblind people are real huh? <laughs> it's totally real and not something made up for attention. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. Wait. What the hell? The drive. Oh. Summit's actually just so bored Twins, right now. not even dead. Wow. Ouch. Ow. Berserker knew that wouldn't kill him. The victor ult canceled Scion's Q. Oh, dude, that's really smart. Yeah, Shine didn't cancel his Q. Wow. The more you know. Thanks, Sneaky. You're welcome. Really glad you spelled that out for us. And not for the life of me, figured, why didn't he Q? Yeah, now we know. Maybe just thought it was Summit being bad and not queuing. But that's not how it works. I'd like to see you lane for Summit and then call him bad. <laughs> oh, at least he's maxing W second. Q then W. Interesting. Well, videos do. 
long time ago. You, you second now? <laughs> no. You still do it. <laughs> Pretty much always have done it. That's what they used to do. Wait. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Uh. What the fuck was that? No way, dude. That was not real. That was so int. What the fuck? Dude, Andy pushed Victor with him. Why wouldn't he push him the other way? It looked like he was setting up for Rakan. And he was. He set up Rakan to kill him with Victor. What the fuck? No fucking way! That was a wild one. That was such a fat int. Like, it was multiple things, too. It wasn't even just, I got stunned under turret, greeting for a plate. <laughs> there were so many levels to it. Yeah, I mean, if that happens to you and you're the Azir, what you have to do is sigh really loudly and say, like, <laughs> sub gab and just, like, ping Rakan. Or not sub gab, that's too aggressive. Like, you, you need to be a little bit more passive with it. Just, like, be like, Rakan's mid. <laughs> well, Rakan can move, I guess. Oh, my God, the train. Ah, wait, Zerger's dead. Oh, oh my God. Goodness. That did so much fucking damage. He's truly been in NA for too long, man. His reaction times are not what they once were. Yeah, that is pretty embarrassing to get hit. As Zaya. Yeah. He expected his peasant teammates to block for him. Uh, yeah, guys, just block for me instead of all of us dodging this fucking two and a half second stun. It's going to two-shot us. <laughs> What do you think about you tanking this shit that'll definitely get you killed so I don't have to press R? Yeah, we get R for next game, no? too. No? Okay, I'll just tank it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> no, uh, allow me to take this fat hit. Unstoppable. That really describes Summit this game. Is Summit just the best Scion in the world? Is he just a giga Chad? He's actually been holding himself back playing carries when really he was a Scion main. Dude, top laners have way too much ego. They just refuse to play tanks. The broken tanks, but then, too. But then they do, and then I wonder if he'll do the classic, get a little taste of success playing shit like Scion, and then start going back to, like, Jace the next week. Yep. Next week. It's like, wow, he had a really solid week of team plays. Oh, he's first picking Fiora this game. All right. <laughs> Wow, Piosix just grabbing an, a large rod like this? I don't like that at all. This is absolutely a Void Staff game if you want more damage. Like, dude, what What do you see on their team that's like, yeah, Shadow Flame looks good here. Fucking Cassante, Victor with Mercs, Radiant Virtue Rakan. Yeah. It's actually a waste of gold. That shit is, you only go Shadow Flame if you're like really fed and gonna be consistently one-shotting people. He like only kills Zaya faster. Yeah. Everybody else slower. And the only kill c has got the game was that disgusting int from Harry. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I mean, C9 looks pretty fucking lifeless. What are they waiting for? Oh, uh, something. Miracle. I said the comp looked OP. Uh, I mean, I think their comp's totally fine. I think it's just possibly... I don't know. Just the way they play as a team. Some teams play better with certain champs and styles. Like, I think C9 looks good when they have Blabber on, like, an aggressive playmaker with Diplex playing some, like, aggro fighting thing that mm. can follow him around i mean that's basically every c9 iteration with blabber that's look good is like blabber with someone who's fighting all the time like i don't think blabber likes having like scaling shit on his team especially get like when you're playing this matchup with jungler it actually like handicaps you so much on what you can do yeah because you can never really influence mid in a good way 
they can always influence mid. So Victor ends up just having to like sit back. You're giving mid prio. You're not gonna have a lot of vision. Their jungler can kind of do whatever. True. Oh baby. A big fight. Yosik marking fucking Sven. Oh, Summit getting legit banged. He is just stuck in the pit. Wait, Fudge flashed in on Summit? Summit is not dead. Hold on, is Fudge not just giga stuck here? Kill him. Oh! Oh! Wait. Oh, God. Oh, my God! It's looking like a bit of a disaster for TL here. They're getting fucking... Wiped. <laughs> Wait, did you see what Sven did? No. What the hell? What happened to Eon? I saw he died to Zaya, but... He went in trying to kill Fudge. Oh. And got legit gangbanged. Like, Elise had his stun on him in the pit. They followed. His W came up. Avoid a lot of damage. Lucian just evaporated. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is Piosic. It's not really a 50 50. Uh -uh. That looked really stealable. I mean, for most junglers, yeah. <laughs> Huh. Let's see his fight again. So, I thought Fudge was trolling, and I think Yon also did. When he flashed in. How is Harry getting zero poke done? If this was Bjergsen, they would all be dead for this. No, I think they'd be about the same HP. Nope. Ooh, Yon gets his ult cancel. Okay, watch, watch, watch. Look, so when Fudge eased into the pit there, I thought he was fucked. Like, they could just walk on him. Oh, God. Oh, my Yon. Oh, my God. Yeah, he, like, went in on Fudge. Yeah. I mean, so Fudge had no flash, and then he eased into the center of the pit. And that's the only way he can get over the wall is with his E, right? So he's... I actually think he's kind of fucked there. Yeah. But uh, they were a little late on the follow-up. And Lucian went a little too deep. Mm -hmm. like, I understand what Yon was looking for. He said, he have this guy's there, but... overextended. Fucking kill him. Yep. Now C9 can start playing game. Now they are strong. Berserker is so big. So big. Just so much damage. This eye just shreds. Yeah, now this is pretty uncomfortable if you're TL. Oh, Malkyle. Is Harry dead? Yeah. Harry. Oh. Oh. All right, this game's ogre. Oh. Dude, that looked like old Victor W there. Because it got knocked towards the middle. But it's because of Cassante Q. Dude, remember that piece where they had Harry and Yon? And they were saying, like, how would you rank him amongst other mids? And Yon jokingly was, like, starting listing all of them who were ahead of him. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he was joking. Oh. Oh, Wait. blabber! That's a troll way to die. Despair. Blabber just leans back. He's like, I fucking trolled. Yeah. <laughs> what does Blabber say when he runs it down? Don't remember. He runs it down a lot. How do you not remember? Does he start blaming people usually? In a while. No. Blabber loves fighting, though. I'll tell you that. Does he say my bad? No problem. They could just, mm -mm. you know, for the barren condition and then, you know, does he not say anything because he's quietly in? He's just, he's just silent. Because I cannot tell you what he. Oh my god. Harry Potter man, like. It's so rough, dog. 
This dude's pulling a blaze olive. Honestly, these ends have been like way worse. Yeah, I mean, his team's doing pretty well, and <laughs> he's been responsible for most of the good things that happened to C9. Mm hmm. Going to be really hard for Lucian to match her in like DPS in the fight. Yeah. Dude, TL keep double pinking bushes. Uh, I know Jan's picked up the magic damage. For what does that mean? It means they don't trust each other. Splash, but mm hmm. Cloud9 ulti only catches the fudge. Fudge looking for mm -hmm. an angle. Oh. Target, charm I will not use it alone. He's not dead actually. This year has just arrived. Wow, Kyoshi just got fucking annihilated. Oh. Go, Berserker, go! <laughs> He's healing in? He's healing in? Oh, and he gives up on the chase. He heals in, Core heals out. He flash heals in. And doesn't get the kill. Sag. Shit's dead. The timing of that means the Baron's already burned for Cloud9, and he turned this with the root and the stun and more onto Summit, Harry and... Quirk. He's so oh. tanky. Oh, oh. Wow. Actually, kind of nasty Q. They did not expect that. Hold up. Hold up. Summit is low-key cooking. He is. He's actually smacking. Is Scion a Summit champ? Has he found his calling? Nah, anytime it, everybody's winning on a champ, it's just the champ. True. Why don't people build Randuins? I don't know, honestly. Randuins is kind of broken. Randuins force of nature are like the ultimate armor slash MR items. For dealing with carries anyway. The build enders. It's like the death cap or the infinity edge. Yep. I, mean, I guess there's a lot of the time it's like you get your mythic, like Jack Show, whatever. Then, like, Sunfire, I guess, kind of takes the place of Randuin's because getting Randuin's early is weird. And then, you know, you get Force of Nature. And then you usually want, like, Gargoyle at that point. Mm -hmm. But Randuin's is pretty good. If they have like more than one champ that it's good against, like two champs at crit, it's insane. I don't know why Lucian finished Maw. Seems very bad. It's it's a lot of MR, and it's a big shield. Like it's for Victor, but and it gives AD. Not also a lifeline passive. I think he just goes BT and he fucking has a way better effect. Because Zaya will just shred him instead. Yeah, it doesn't seem great here. Maw and AD carries, to me, is an item that you build if there's, like, truly unavoidable magic damage. Like a Karthus or some shit. Like, there's yeah. no possible way to not get hit by them. But, I mean, Victor Maokai, like, yeah, you'll probably get hit by them, but not to the point where you're just oppressively being one-shot. BT is just as good. It's kind of like when there's a fed as fuck Evelyn. Even if you build a Maw, it doesn't do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, mean, I appreciate that. Uh, Vixie just does so much fucking execute damage. It doesn't change your fate. You're yep. still just dead. You bet double double lift wish he had Ma in 2016. <laughs> nope. Good one. He just shitting the gun in. Dude, that'd be such a fucking history changing moment. What if double lift didn't suicide to Victor? Tissim would have won worlds. TSM probably would have won that game. And I think they would have made it out of groups. And they would have won the whole Worlds. And Double would have made it out of groups at Worlds. For once. Shit's crazy. For once. You say it like you've made it out of groups at Worlds. Couple times. Only when Meteos was carrying you? True, true. This probably feels pretty hopeless for TL. But gold wise, dragon wise, doesn't look that bad, but actual strength at this point, I don't think it's very close. Imagine if Elise had like a Zonia's or a Banshee instead of that Shadow Flame. 
so many more options. I mean, with Rakan, Maokai, that game is actually 40 minutes? Yeah. It's fucking so long. It, ah! Dude, imagine you had BT. Full on this auto. Now, alright, 2k shield right in that auto. <laughs> One more, 3k shield. Oh, bye bye, Baron. I, I actually just noticed Yon has fucking PTA instead of first strike. Oh my god, and Piosik doesn't get the steal again. He didn't even try this time. He's just like, yeah, guys, there's just no chance of me getting it. I'm not gonna try. Where the hell is he? What is he doing He's over just there? On the Giga flank, dude. What's he doing? He's just hard flanking them, like. Oh, Yon can't fight because he's just so flanked. All right. Oh my God, his just the nastiest flank ever, dude. You think he'll maybe get the minions? Pause, champ. Yeah. Oh, actually, I can read lips, and what he just said in Korean is, "You guys don't deserve to win." He didn't get you the minions. You don't deserve me. I won worlds. I'm literally getting a kindred skin, and what are you getting? You're getting fucking gapped by an NA LCS team. Dude. I think he actually saves the game, by the way. If he gets the mini wave? Like, yeah, he didn't get the wave. Yeah, yeah, he did. No, he didn't. He, he literally didn't kill the wave. He, he didn't even try. Like, look. Pull back real quick. Oh. You see the little I mean, mini replay thing? It shows him jumping to Raptors and recalling. Oh, you're right. Like they, they actually can't end if he clears the wave. Well, maybe. I don't know. I think they can with that those four minions. Well, if you just watch what happens, the minions mm, end up no. dying. I think they, I think they definitely end if he doesn't come back. Cause it would just be summit there. Like at least would be so much later. Well. No, no, no. Look at Elise's impact. He dies literally to nobody even trying to kill him. Like, it, it took Berserker one auto, by the way. <laughs> he, he didn't add any extra time at all in his defense. That's true, but he also played it like a bit of a noob. I think you clear that wave. He walked into feathers and died. I, I think every time here, you clear that wave. Like, without a doubt, for sure. I, I think you have a way better chance, because then they have to... They have to kill that Nexus turret from full HP with backdoor up, which they, they can probably do that. Uh, I think they probably end here anyway, but... I mean, the the whole sequence is absolutely troll as hell from Piosik. Yeah. I'm not sure. Like, it's hard to say, but I think I would have fucking based if I was him and I saw this. Like, when you start on the wave, they're hitting your tier three with a wave. Like, they'll just tank for the wave. The wave's taking no damage. It would take another, like, few seconds to kill the wave. Mm. I think it's probably over, but. Wait, what did Zven say to Yawn? The handshake? Let me see. What? Like, that wasn't even, like, missing him. That was, like, he looked at him. He talked some shit. What'd he say? He actually gave him the fucking stare down. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> he looks so mad. Yeah, he looks pissed. <laughs> Can we hear it on the main broadcast? I don't think so. Did you say suck my dick? Jesus. <laughs> Holy fuck. Now I'm interested. I'm listening to mainstream. Oh, wait. Sven doesn't. Sven doesn't normally do that. Like he banter's, but that seemed like farther than banter. That was like full on fuck you. <laughs> we need the deep details. Hello. 
He's piercing Yon's soul with this one. not nervous at all. The, the, enemy, uh, the enemy team was shit-talking us. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I can't say that word, my bad. Oh. Uh, the enemy team this was talking clip. trash in all chats. Um, I think Yon said uh, our academy team is better after they killed us. And then <laughs> at oh the end of the game, Zed said, go back to academy. <laughs> <gasps> he said back so to academy? Oh, do they not? No. Oh, that's funny. There's I didn't real see that. freaking hot sauce out there. Look at that. Ooh, replay on that one. Here he goes. No, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh! Stop wow, I did not it. see that. That was good. Sven is mad. Oh, we fudge just saying Whoa. something. Okay. I did not see that. Spicy. It's a spicy. Uh, well, let's have some tea. Oh well, they're never playing bot lane together. Ah. Uh. <laughs> You hear that, yeah, that's not gonna happen. That's not happening. Um, you know, something about QDP time is I do my investigational research, and um, can I uh, can we? I'm talk going to school, but not delusional. This? Oh, I like that. What? You can't see what the lighting is too well. that? Well, what's on your you what's on your neck, big bro? See it. It's there's a picture on Twitter where it's it's circled. <laughs> <laughs> there seems to be a spot on your neck. A <laughs> snake bite? Can you tell me what that is? It's a snake bite. Really? <laughs> Have you ever fought a snake before? Uh, they usually go uh -huh. for the neck. Mm, really? <laughs> when, when did you, did you happen to fight a snake on Valentine's Day? I mean, I have... <laughs> <laughs> I did. That did happen. To happen uh -huh. but Those fucking snakes, yeah, man. They like really get you. Stupid snake. I yeah. And, well, I don't know. Australians like fighting snakes on Valentine's uh -huh. Day, you know. So yeah. We 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 fight snakes. It's pretty fun for us. <laughs> and um, I lost one v one to Cassiopeia, but uh -huh. oh. we. Oh my. <laughs> okay, that's one way to so put it. Troll. Um, <laughs> Okay. Well, I, I mean, I speaking of speaking of you fighting snakes okay. in a in a romantic way, what's what? going on with you and ten tenacity on Twitter? I mean, he's a he's a hot man. What can I, say? <laughs> I mean, nothing. I have no ulterior motives. I'm the just heart throb he, of the LCS. He, he's extremely attractive. So <laughs> I can't handle it. So he wants to snake fight. <laughs> <laughs> what the yeah, fuck? I mean, it's all fun. Right. It's all fun. <laughs> too much tea time. Too much tea time. Okay, you have to do these now. If you had to kick someone off your team, who would it be? Uh, Sven has a bit of an attitude. I'm just throwing it out there. He does. He's he got really attitude. does. I think. <laughs> you have to answer. It's, it's the rules. Yeah, you so. do have to answer. Does have to answer. Say it. Say blabber. I think I'm kicking Diplex. I'm sorry, Diplex. What? Um, what? You know, you're, uh, Diplex. You're, you're, Dude. You're going to have to go, buddy. That's me. Uh, That's what? me. Why? He's been on the team the least amount of time. That's so mean. I know, but I have to say it. It's the truth. You could have said Sven. He was mean today. Truth. Oh, God. I'm being honest. That's I'm fucked up. I appreciate it. No, no, it's yeah, I'm going to get my coffee. That's so there. fucked up. I can hold it like that. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> I'm relaxed. Someone said, I read his lips. He said, I would shake your hand, but my hand is tired. Sorry, man. Good game, though. <laughs> oh. Types an all chat back to Academy? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. What did this oh, say? Oh, wait. Speaker tweeted it out. I don't know how Speaker <laughs> sees this. <laughs> he, he saw Beyond, so it's early in the game. He said, XD worse than our Academy team. Who? Speaker? Yon said that. Well, Speaker tweeted it. Oh. See the dig sign? No. I'm looking at the drama. I don't give a fuck about the it, dig sign. It said, you're nothing special. We lose every week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. You ain't nothing, kid. We get beat by everybody. I just want to know what he said during the handshake. That's all I want to know. Let's ask him. Let's get him on call. Let's DM him. Jensen Oriana? Dude? Let's fucking go! Wait, Speaker deleted his tweet. Why did Speaker delete his tweet? Uh-oh. The drama goes even deeper.
This is it. This is the game, Medios. Do you believe? Do you believe this is the game? Mm-hmm. Jensen tried his LeBlanc. Now he's trying his Oriana. He's actually putting in full effort here. Jensen actually played well last game. It was a shame that it seemed like his team just did not react to what he was doing whatsoever. And did, like, the only thing possible to fuck it up. But, you know, it's a new game. Totally new game. Jensen could hard carry this. New game. New memes. The versus TSM. This is it. Does this Santorin path get him level 3? Blue, wolves, red? It does. They change the XP values? Big if true. Uh-oh. Santorin has the phase rush. It's a oh jungle God, banger. He didn't it, though. He didn't proc it. Oh my God. Wow, he should not have to flash out like that. Getting his dick punched. Yeah. That was some ownage. Wait, I actually, like, how long... Has that been a thing since the new jungle? You can do blue wolves red to get three? <sighs> That's actually way better than doing blue gromp red. I think the way that Sven put it was like, hey, Dignitas, I don't think they Oh, it was only 13.3? Who's going to go for crazy stuff early. Oh, okay. Because I was like, damn, bro, how have I not seen anybody do that? True. Because before that was like a legit troll path that would end you at level 2 after 3 hams. And you know he's not the kind of guy that's going to be cautious about doing that. He'll be happy to throw himself in there and try to make those plays. As Spawn and Ignar have to push in bottom lane right now, but Neo and Chime are doing a good job fighting back. Piercing Light will find Spawn, but the shield from Ignar keeps him at relative even trading here. He's Boogie's going to walk forward. Uh-oh. Wait, is Santor Torrin Santor Torrin right. He's dead. He's solo killed. Oh, no, he's not. He's not. He's not. Oh. Wait, he just pushed Q. His bot saved him. Dude, even Armut's playing Scion, bro. Every top laner's dropping the ego. Wait, he's, is he not just dead? What's he going to get ulted? Oh. Ooh. Not sure about the execution on that. Wait, maybe he didn't have enough mana to do it initially. He had to, like, wait for something. That has to be it, because that looked like he... Armut was so fucking dead. When you have ult in your third Q, like, that's just a confirm hit. Sven's tweet? I didn't shake his hand after the match because he called us worse than our academy team, in quotes. After they won the team fight at Drake, in the game, I thought it was distasteful talk shit. After they won the fight, but in hindsight, I think I was a bit out of line as well. I'd like to apologize to Teal and Neon and thank them for firing me up. Made the match more exciting. GG, thumbs up. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm team as event on this one. T t like, talking shit during a game after you won a fight, like, that's actually real small dick energy. Is it, though? I think so, yeah. That's fucking cringe as hell. <laughs> that's just, like fucking... It's when we played against Zuna and just hearing, like, <laughs> get fucked, bitch, when they got, like, one kill against us in the whole fucking series. <laughs> It's just like, excuse me, like, what the fuck you just say? Oh, oh Jensen! Santorin's only level 5, where's the old man? I, like, I think just I shit talking after the fact like, of a fight is really cringe. Even if you, like, you Wait, win why? the game and you talk shit? I don't think so. I think it's real cringe. I mean, like, it depends how you're taking it. Like, if you don't say anything back, then yeah, it's weird. Like, if both sides aren't going back and forth. I mean, if, if you start it there, like, th that's what started it. It wasn't like... Yeah, I mean, it's one thing if they've been talking shit the whole time, like, before as well. Yeah, but, like, the whole purpose is just banter. Like, it's not deep. Nah, like, like there's, he, a, there's a right and a wrong way to do it. Why? Because there just is. There's like respecting your competitors. I think the problem here is we're just missing. Like we were missing all context. And now we're getting more context. I mean, it's just it's just the idea of like punching down, dude. It's like you got to talk shit before anything happens. So it's like a fair 
fair thing, but it's like you're only talking shit. Like you only open your mouth when you are winning. Like you're actually just a fucking pussy. I, I don't know. Like it. I, I think if you don't think of it as deep, like it's the entire purpose is just banter, then it doesn't really matter as long as both sides are participating. If, if it's like actually mean, it's different. But it, like saying you're worse than our academy team, like I don't. I think the whole purpose of that's banter. I mean, if it's like a pretty game lobby chat, that's banter. Yeah, definitely not. Right after a winning fight. I mean, Sven was definitely like real upset. Like it wasn't fake. Yeah, I mean, I think that's reasonable given. No, yeah, yeah, it's fine. What Jan did. I think it's fine. Yeah. I'm just saying. I think the whole interaction of whatever happened was totally okay. I don't think it's just like, all right, you can't talk in all chat anymore. Nah, I mean, there, there's just there's a tasteful way to do it, and Jan didn't need ate, ate the cock for it. It is what it is. What would be a tasteful way to banter? I've been saying it the whole time, just fucking before the game. Not like Wait, what, right are you, what are you fight. saying before the game, though? Like, you guys suck dick, something like that, I don't know. Like, <laughs> this, the shit JoJo and, like, Inspired always, right? Like, th their shit's so funny. I think the mid-game stuff's even funnier. It's just not common at all. Because you're playing a game and you're like trying to be like full focus, right? You're not really thinking mm. about like talk, shit talking the opponent for fun. Like it's something that would be super BM would be like, you, you win the game, you go to handshake, you shit talk them there. But like nothing happened in the game. It was just you just do that after. Like that's just weird. I think I think that's like just as bad as what Yon did. Why? Because it just is. Like, what do you mean, why? What's the fucking difference between that and, and what you're saying? Because in game, there's opportunities for them to fight back. Like, they win a fight, they talk shit. Then C9 wins a fight, he talks shit. Yeah, but it's like you're it's back doing and forth. it after you're winning the fight. It's not really like you're doing it when they have a chance to talk, to like fight back in a way. It's like when you think you've won. Like you didn't say shit until something went your way. Yeah, which is fine. In yeah, game, I don't, in, in, I don't agree. In game, we don't have to agree on it. <laughs> we don't have to agree on it. I don't think I'm gonna change my view on this one. <laughs> I think it's funny if you don't take it seriously. If you take it seriously, then yeah, everything feels bad. Oh God, Santorin's in. Come on, dig. Come on, dig. Oh, that would be such a you nasty Oriole. It, it was up. Get one win. <laughs> oh, wait, Yon has a tweet now. I love this drama. He he just responded to Sven. He said, it's not worth an apology to me. It's just in game I see someone fire one at my mid laner and I'll fire one back and then insta mute you shouldn't apologize. So I guess he's doing it to like stand up for Harry. Oh, what did Sven say to Harry? It must have been the, Sven, the Harry int. So that started all. Zven started it. Yeah, maybe it was Zven who started it. Uh, which then makes what Jan said valid. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, the, the no context of all chats really troll. Yeah, I mean, but like, we were going off the info that that fight and what Jan said was the first Oh, no, yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Speaker said, did not apologize to the fraud enchanter abuser Zven. You did nothing wrong. Keep it up. Yeah. So, <laughs> so troll. Holy shit. Now we need to see, hear what Sven said to Harry after the monster int. Yeah, I mean, if if Sven started it and then he said that, then that's pretty. It's pretty L on on Sven's part. I guess we don't really know the full story. Good times, man. LCS needs more drama like this. Because honestly, man, we're all just here to be entertained. Whether it's through gameplay or just drama, like, fuck it. What's the diff? Cuties segments have been hella good, too. Yeah. Is he gonna ult? Just gonna ult. Boom! Jensen is shitting on Maple. 40 CS up. Jesus. Soaking jungle ganks. God. This is a man who really wants to win. Damn! But how thick is this ulti going to be in a team fight? 
And speaking of the map's resources, it's TSM looking to take Ooh. those from the top side. All right, hear me out. It's League of Legends and a RTS mix. You can, you have to build the minions, and you choose what type of minions you want. Oh God, he's dead. Yeah, he's so dead. Oh, he's pretty fucking gone. Yes, wow, sir. Ever. Yeah. That is the risk when you have no cleanse against Sejuani. You can get banged. Yeah, you get like a. Uh... Yeah, actually, is it Line Wars? Wars just came up. They, it's something they timed that shit. I think it is Line Wars. Like you, you choose what to send to the enemy. You get more income for the stronger units. Same as yeah, Legion TD, but you know, you control. Frenzy. Yeah, Footman Frenzy. One of my friends was showing me some game mode in StarCraft called, like, Desert Strike, I think. It's kind of like that. Mm. I, I didn't play it myself, but I saw him streaming on Discord. Jensen's got this. Come on, Jensen. I need Dig to get a win. Truth. We can't go 0-9 the first round, Robin, man. <laughs> we. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm not a Dig fan, but, like, just in general, <laughs> like, nobody deserves that. True. That is just cruel. Cruel and unusual. Like, friends with Santorin and Jensen, spawns a rookie. Ignar Flame sneaky, so I, like I'm okay with him going 09, but <laughs> the others don't deserve this. He's only got like two losses under his belt. True. He, he's 02. People saying Harry made a tweet now. Oh, baby. Let's see what he said. What did Sven say to Harry? He, he just said. Wow, I troll once in game and all this drama happens. Sorry, guys. At least I know Giga Chad Yon has my back. Ah. He said, and I already know I'm playing like shit. The ending will stop and we will start taking wins. Hmm. Hmm. That second one is kind of a weird thing to tweet, but whatever. So Harry instigated and started all this shit. Good job. I mean, it, it made it seem like he was talking like he was trolling in the way that he died. Like, that was the troll. Yeah. I mean, it was it discussing it. It was out of this world grief. It, it was pretty grief. Like, I can understand Yon wanting to stand up for his friends. That's what Meteos would do. That's what Meteos would do. I'd stand up for my friends. Meteos would I'm always down to, down. To, fucking, to fucking shit talks on. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Meteos, the defender. The vigilante, the white knight we all need. You can't kill Scion, dummy. Oh, where did Come Oreo on, go? Dig. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Spawn is the first one dead in a ten-man gangbang. What? No. How? How did that happen? No! It's so much gold gap. What the fuck? And three dragons. Like, a fucking infernal and a mountain dragon are actually so much stats. This game's over. Dignitas just needs to give Sneaky the bag already, dude. Once again. All right, what happens to spawn? How does he actually get banged here? So he has both sums. Start of this. He gale forces out. Get behind the wall. Yeah, that's right. Walled off. Attack with sniper. Good. Dodge the wave. He's just hitting. He swapped the Infernum for no reason. For no reason. Wait, he, he got Talia W'd in. No, I think it was Kasante Q. Oh. Didn't that happen to him in another game as well? Mm, maybe. Oh my god, they're actually not going to get a kill, little bro. This is fucked up. Fuck, bro. That is a hard one. Like, it's hard to come up with cope after this one if you're Dignitas. This is a hard cock to swallow. What do you even do? Like, if you were on Dig, what would you try to do if your team is just totally taking the ass? Find out why. I feel like you have to do some like team building exercise to like get get your teams to like like each other. Like go out, fucking do something that's not league. Like play another game together. Like fucking. Yeah. 
do some real life activity like I am sorry Jensen <laughs> good try Jensen despair because they're, they're just they're clearly in a rut where their whole team's playing bad they have no trust in one another probably don't even trust in their team which is kind of understandable when all you've done is take it in the ass you just need some way to like reset like recalibrate <laughs> yep which honestly sometimes comes from roster swap but they already had the ignar in for biofrost yep i i mean i think it starts from the team environment like how they interact with each other are they friends? Do they just... Is it a business? If it's a business, it's fucked. But, like, if they're... Trying to have a good time and trying to fix their problems together... Wait, w w what's the Shocks monologue? It starts with something? Success. It starts with success. They're doing the opposite. Yeah. Oh, but... It also depends on who's trying to take direction for the team. Are they all, like, just problem-solving together? Do they have an idea of how they want to play? I, I mean, I don't know. Like, to me, the way this team plays feels like their problem-solver is, like, not actually in the game. It's like a coach or something. Everyone's just, like, trying to do what the coach has told them, and it's not like they're actually playing naturally. Mm. I mean, that's total speculation. I don't know shit about their coach or Dig. Not saying that's happening, but... I think that is a reason teams can look so dysfunctional in game is because like they don't have like that. They don't have like a true leader in game, like yeah, not not exactly. like a shot caller, but like someone to connect them and make plans. Yeah, someone who at least like you know they they're down to fucking ride or die with. Yeah, it's not like everyone making like half-ass calls and hesitating and thinking through everything because that that's like probably what's going on in these games. It's like yeah, someone has an idea, like someone is like, no, I don't think we can do that, and, like. <laughs> He's got a bunch of doubters and comms. No confidence. I mean, that's for real, yeah. for sure. I mean, it's natural when... Like, it, it might just be nine games, but this has been... Like, LCS has been going on, what, like a month? So, like, you're just straight up a month of ne not any wins. Like, not even a little reprieve. <laughs> just straight spreading thine ass cheeks. It's a lot. Grabbing their ankles. Their butts probably for pretty a spread. a month. Yeah. Like somebody. Just let him breathe. Not even a fucking oh, kill. Five and four. Not even a single kill. Yeah. Oh, nine in score and in their fucking <laughs> the record. Oh, man. I actually feel bad. Holy shit. Or Jensen and Santorin. Dude, I don't think anybody would have guessed they'd be this bad. No. Like, Dig was bad the past few years, but not this bad. And they had much weaker rosters. They were, like, average, right? Or a little below? Yeah, I mean, no, no. I mean, they, they were near the bottom a lot of the time. Definitely not average, but... Mm hmm Yeah. Their team play is just completely non-existent. Spawn has definitely not looked good in these games. But... No one on their team really has. I mean, like, have they ever had a situation where they're like, they're picking somebody off, like they're starting a play? <laughs> I feel like they just had reactive defensive fights. Yeah, it's like everyone's just like trying to farm. Like their comms are probably like, oh, I'm fucking twelve fifty for my next large rod. Let's wait for that. And they're like, oh shit, they're going on me, and fight happens. All right, dragons in a minute. All right, I'm 500 gold from my item. Can I get two more waves, your raptors and wolves? And I'll be late to set up for the play. Uh, and, dude, dude, uh, legit, legit. Okay, check out 16 minutes here. This is actually such a prime fucking example of it. Like, dragons spawning. They have control of the area. Complete vision control with the Maokai, by the way. This is and legit then, what you want. Yeah. Wait, why Jensen... is Jensen recalling? He wants to... No. That's actually an illegal recall. You can't recall like this, Jensen. 
yeah. I don't, I like, it doesn't even matter if you have your item. Wait, nah, th this was at, like, I didn't even know this was in the game. Jensen hard trolled this game here. Like, you yeah, literally can't do this. This is an exact scenario of, like... I've had this happen on so many teams. They're just sitting around. They, they're, they like, not really initiating. They're just waiting to die. I mean, they... they no, this is, at like, 100,000% on Jensen. Like, you can't play this way unless you have TP. Yeah. Like, you just have to stay. Like, you have Leandries, but I don't think that matters. Like... Or you should never have gone for this thing. Like, your entire... Like, what's the point of setting up for this if you're not going to do anything with your setup? Yeah. Like, at least walk over here on, on, on this time. Like, just try to ult them or some shit to, like, chunk them out and then go for your recall. Because they, they look at all this time they spend setting up. And they just accomplish actually nothing. Yep. They spend so much time to just get shit on. Exactly my point. Oh, that's... Definitely right. Oh, crazy. I think it's fine if they want to give Dragon for Jensen a recall if he doesn't feel like he's in a condition to fight at all. But, I mean, look, he has more items than uh, Maple already. He has enough mana to fight. I don't see any reason why you need to recall there. Like, yeah, you have Landry's in base, but... You're still stronger. Okay, here's another example. Nine minutes... How how is this not a dive? <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way, dude! Like, okay, like pull pull back a little bit for nine. Go like eight, forty. Where, Armit's getting banged at Harold. Yeah, yeah. So, like the the concept here is they think they're on Harold. He's gonna go check, which apparently is the wrong play because he dies. Mm -hmm. he, has, he has no flash, no ult. Like, he just can't check. So he checks for no reason, gets himself killed. But, Wait. <laughs> but he, 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 he griefs, right? He gives the information that the jungler's top at least, right? So then you guaranteed die bot here. And then they do nothing? They just chuck some ults and walk away? Like, what? Okay, the, this is this is double kill. The only thing I can possibly think is if it's being called off because Talia's coming from base with ult. Like, I, and I'm not even saying that's correct, but I, like, yeah, I can't imagine what the fuck this is. Like, nobody in this bot side is just like, yep, we played this well. <laughs> like, what the hell? What, like, why does Ignar grab tower aggro before the roots are even coming in? Like, let that start it. No one's even tanking if that happens. And then you walk up, melee range the Maokai and Philios, then Lulu starts tanking. Like, why would they not walk into them here? Like, Maokai starts this. They they both, bot lane, spawn, and Ignar should just walk into them. Like, they just move forward on the Maokai ult, so they're trapped. Chime's fucking dead here. Yeah. But then they both get zoned by one bubble? <laughs> well, it, it, Ignar has to back up because he started tanking. Like, you see him throw a random Q? Yeah. That was pointless. Even detrimental to the play. 11 minutes? Oh, wait. At... Jensen recalls again instead of walking down? No, no, no. Just the way this fight starts. Like, Boogie throws a, sand, or a fucking sigil and completely whiffs like the dude's standing still uh-huh wait is jensen not kind of griefing this game though like he's up a lot of cs but he's actually like not playing with his team in any of these plays like this, On is, this one you think you should have moved the 11 yeah, i mean wh why not look like 11 minutes it, yeah you can malkai yeah. hovers they're walking down Even i don't see any possible boots. reason to recall here he is full hp plenty no, of he mana. Should. yeah like, absolutely. absolutely, you should be walking down. There's zero reason not be here. And then this, all of a sudden, this becomes illegal for TSM to even try. You should just yeah. get killed with Oriana here. Absolutely. I mean, this is, like, I think Jensen knows this kind of shit. Like, he's not dumb. But I think this might just come from, like, so much losing. Yeah. That you this, start this feeling like you, just, you have to be, like, 100% like, battle ready. Like, if you're fighting with any unspent gold, you're, like, not in prime condition. And then you just start making these, like, horrible plays. Yep. Yeah, and, and then Centaurin can actually initiate here. Like, he just holds ult because they're scared of the fight happening. Because yeah. they don't have a numbers advantage. Like, not even scared of Talia, but 
It just doesn't look like a clean fight. But like, if you know Ori's coming, then it's like, all right, like just fucking fight. Let's go. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Dig, dig is all ults here. <laughs> They're just. There's, there's another one for sure. I want to see that fight. But like I said, we're Santorin W and got flashed over. Oh yeah, 13 minutes. Just, yeah, 13. I'm, I'm watching it right now. Check it out. Let me see how it started. So this is like, I mean, it's kind of like leading up to that dragon thing afterwards, wasn't it? Like, they heralded mid. Yeah. So they... bot had like prio here. Spawns like... just hitting turret, fucking turret. Lulu moves up with it. Santorum was on the gromp, but he pulls off. And Spawn should just move here. Wait, why is Spawn hitting next wave? What? No. This is not real. Look, fucking Lucian gets to this fight faster. Yeah. I mean, I, I think there's also the option here to just keep playing bottom, though, is there not? Like, because... If yeah, but it's like just being TSM is giga sacking bot here, and so I think Dig can just take it with Aphelios and Chakrams, right? Like that's a pretty normal thing. I think yeah. Lulu Malkai could stay here, and then Ori just clears mid. I think it's weird because they're like, they're not even doing one play. Like they're not punishing bottom, and they're not rotating mid together. Like you have to do one of these. I think it would have been fun. Like I, I probably yeah. would have stayed bottom. I don't. No, that, that works. I, I think going there. mid here is like you can do it, but like they're gifting, they're literally gifting you bot lane, then you might as well just take it. Yeah. For sure. And they just take this like real awkward fight. Did Maple hit so many Talia W's? He's a bit of a freak with it. Damn, these things are actually crazy obvious. Yeah, I mean, they're, their team play is just like so bad. Like, somebody's always doing the wrong thing, which, you know. Like, on your own, it's not necessarily a mistake, but you have to factor in, like, what's going on with every other champ in the game. Yeah. And I think, like, their direction for what they're looking for is really unclear as well. Even after those, like, I, I mainly wanted to look at those. Like, even after that, they're still in a totally fine state to play this game. Yeah. Like, look at this. Like, they actually vision toggle here, and it makes the story so much more obvious. Like what time? 20 minutes and 27 seconds. Mm. Like, they show it from Dig's vision. They have literally no, no wards, no vision. It's so dark. But Scion's pushing up. I mean, he, like, if they go for him, they're kind of trolling. So, mm -hmm. like, that's fine. But then Aphelios walks up to this wave... Like, I don't even think this is hindsight. Like, you have to catch this wave back. Like, you're not applying pressure by walking up here. Yeah, I mean, I, I think they need to realize that, they're, like, their tempo is low because Aphelios goes for a recall. Like, the big problem is they haven't been pressuring the map at the same time. So, like, Aphelios resets mid at 1940 while Jensen forces a flash top. Malkai yeah. and Lulu were covering that on a window where, like, they could have been getting vision, but I don't think Lulu actually had words. So now he has to base. Malkai passes off blue to Ori. Ori goes back top. And now, like, they should absolutely know their top side has been taken over. Yeah, legit. like the, the fact that, like, they didn't put any words down is kind of weird. Like, Santorin has a pink, but he's he didn't place it anywhere. Like, they should... If you're playing on this side of the map, like, you should have some form of vision. Not having any is pretty troll. Like, we see Jensen and Spawn are both full inventories, no pink. Um, it, it should be so obvious they're in this jungle. Yeah, so like they're not playing. Or they're, they're not setting up their vision. They blue or Baron. They're like, yeah. okay, they're not on Baron, but like, where the fuck else would they be? The second they find that not on Baron, back up, spawn. Like, holy shit, there's no way you walk up here. No, you, you can't walk up there. It's really awkward because. Like, like, Ignar and Santorin are freaked. Like usually in the, for Ignar. I mean, you have a Maokai is the fun, is the weird part. Like, how does a bush camp work against a Maokai? Like, I think this is like Santorin's play has been looking like. I can kind of get it as a jungler. Like, you, you're really behind the game, so like you're trying to get every camp you can. But it, a lot of times it's, it is coming kind of coming at the cost of pressure for the team. Like, this seems to be Dig's whole story is just like somebody's in the wrong place, to make things happen. So like right now the normal play at like 20 minutes after TSM took that topside would be like, 
coming from base, I think you have to recognize you're down in tempo. Jensen, yep. he can't safely push the top wave. Well, I mean, I guess he could have, but instead he goes to blue buff. So then getting blue, I think Jensen, instead of going back top, should just come mid here. And yep. then, like, you push through mid together, and then you go and get control. But, like, by Jensen he, going he top... He legit can't touch top. Like, he's going to die for it. Yeah, if if mid doesn't die, top will die. Like, this is, like, the setup you want as TSM. Like, th this is how you win games through vision. Like, you take over one of the jungles. All of a sudden, it's illegal for him to walk up on, like, pass their turret at either lane. And when they do, you can engage on them. And then Diggs counterplay to that. It's like you group mid. You push the wave together. And then you go get vision. But it seems like every step, some shit's going wrong. Yeah. It's extremely obvious from Diggs POV as well. Yeah, it's, it's not hindsight at all. This is like pretty, pretty normal things. People said Diplex said X D D D D D in all chat after Harry entered mid. Ah. So Diplex started it. I mean, it was pretty X D D D D in his defense. Diplex started it, and then Sven started it, and then Yeon started it, and then Harry started it, and then. Sven ended. Well, I've been jumping around on my YouTube video too much. It's dying. Yeah, I just refreshed and it fixed. That that whole thing of like getting your team to synchronize their recalls and just pressure at the same time so you can like actually control areas is, it is the hardest shit to do on teams. I swear to God, I probably spent like, the majority of my energy, when I was a pro player, just trying to convince people to do that. They'd be like, yeah, but man, like I've got my item. It's like a really big spike. I'm like, okay, well you understand when you recall, we can't hold this area. And it was just a waste, put all these words down. Like we could be punishing them for walking in here. It's just like, like Leandry's, it's just such a big spike for me. Like, you know, why do we always have to do it your way? Like we can do it your way or we can like, we can do it this way. Like there's no real wrong way. It's just opinions. I'm just sitting there like, I'm going to fucking scream. Lucian Nami against Caitlyn Lux. Dude? Dude, I I really would like to be the Vi in a game like this. Just three squishy ass targets on 100 Thieves already. Yep. 100 Thieves is going Trist mid. Um, Do I like it here? Uh, if you can fit an AP top, it's fine. Otherwise, like your team comp is like somewhat low damage. We're getting booze? Oh my god, it's Victor against Double Evolution. <gasps> they gave Licorice his Renekton, bro. Like, Dude? did they miss the part where when his Renekton's banned, he plays fucking Lee Sin? Wait, Bjergsen, Tristana? Oh god, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't love this comp from 100 Thieves, but like, I don't know. I guess if you can say at least even, you'll be strong late. All right, Maokai, Wzin, Vi, Olsen. Who hits who on each other? Vi hits Maokai, I'm pretty sure. Sure about that? Nope, but probably. <laughs> I saw one of those fucking fake Chinese TikTok things. Well, like, okay, fake is in, like, you know, it's not a real game, but, like, they did a funny scenario. I link you the clip, Medios. All right, let's see the clip. Oh my god, my fucking ears, man. You can mute it. If you want. <laughs> what the fuck did I just watch? Yeah, I know, it's so weird. I mean, why does it like flash back like 10 times during the clip? That doesn't make it any easier to see. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't understand. Why does it even go after Vi the first time? And why does it switch to Zed? It's because he's prowlersing. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think it's the the prowlers like delays the ult. Because like the first oh, thing he did he is prowl prowl oh, prowler on Vi and then he ult. Oh, flat. Wait, well, he flashed though. He prowlers and flashed, and it didn't cancel the prowlers. Prowlers is really the weirdest item, the way it works with, like, buffering. I would not be surprised if in the future people found, like, <laughs> really fucking obnoxious ways to, like, bug it out. Like that? <laughs> yeah. Those are fake choreographed Chinese videos. 
Well, you must have missed everything I've described about the video, you stupid fuck. I already said that! Nobody thinks it's not fake. They're not even trying to pretend like it's a real thing that happens. It's just cool. <clears throat> yeah. Well, you go to the fucking movies, watch some sci-fi movie, and say that's, well, not, no, no, that's no. not real. That's that's not realistic. Some were definitely trying to act like they weren't fake, but sure, but they aren't. They aren't all trying to act fake. Oh my god, level one latent fake. They're act real. They have no fucking shame. Oh my god, this is so unlucky. If going guardians, he's about to get banged. Nah, it's over. It's <laughs> over. FF. <laughs> FF. Wow. What the fuck? What? Surely he doesn't just walk out of that. Wait, Golden Guardians is still gonna contest. That's oh my god. so troll. Oh my god. Oh. This is so troll. Kill them. Oh. Kill them. <laughs> Flash W the fucking vibe with Hold the try. Fled. Hold the try. Please. Hold the. <laughs> oh god, they both miss melees. Why is Vi allowed to do that? <laughs> that was so illegal. He flashed out and walked back in. <laughs> Just flash Maokai W him. He's dead. What if he's already dead, Meteos, on the inside? Have you ever considered that? What if his heart's been broken? Do you really kill a man who's down? He should. Oh, River goes for the level 2 tilt gank, and he gets sapling. That is just... The fucking closer spinning in his mouth. And another one. He, he's like, yo, I bet he's going to try it again. He's down real bad. He's got he's a man with nothing to lose. <laughs> some jungle games are like that, though. Like, I know for me, I'm way more likely to go for some desperate ass shit if I'm already behind him. I'm just like, yeah, fuck it. Like, if this works, I'm back in the game. If not, then I'm still fucked. Like, it's fine. I have not typically enjoyed Bjergsen on 80 carries, but maybe this will be different. Renekton W cancels the one passive auto. Is he dead? Oh! A double said to that. Oh, double lift! Hold the net backwards! Wait. That's so Stixay legit netted the wrong way and he was rewarded with a kill. Unbelievable. That's also something that I find really interesting about the start of this game, 400 Thieves. Like, River, you can't really gank an Orn or a Tristana lane. So the fact they took the uh -oh. I'm buffering. I'm pissed. Uh oh. It's all ogre. Wait, focusing the uh -oh. AD, the support? Uh oh. Oh my god, that synergy? Good god. That's just basic. It's a fat fucking wave. He's hitting some bubbles. God damn. Alright, new summoner. You have to add one to the game. What do you add? What does it do? I, I think it'd be cool if there were more like Kiss Curse effects in League. Like, I would take something kind of like the old Zerath W where it's like, you know, what if there's someone that like roots yourself but makes you like immune to cc while you're rooted gives you a little bit of extra range and like attack speed or something so it's like 80 carries can take it when they just want to like hold their ground and start like firing away kind of deal what about like i think something like that would be interesting like maybe not exactly that but on oh. those lines holy shit they're in wow not sure you needed a flash hole but he did get him what about like some actual CC on a summoner? It's not exhaust. I think that would be horrible. Why? Because it would just. It makes any champion who has like a skill shot like just Ooh. that much easier to, to confirm. I mean, it's kind of like what oh. happens with Everfrost. Because I, I, I like the, the biggest issues I've always felt like for League is. Mobility creep and like just how hard it is to actually siege turrets. I'm not sure you can really make a summoner that helps with like the ability to siege without it being too degenerate. Mm. But anti mobility, like something that just affects mobile champions more than it affects immobile champions, could be fine. Oh, oh big fight. Oh my. Oh, wow, River canceled the Ornold. River gets the Herald. What was that Lucian ult? I wasn't really watching. I was watching the Herald. Oh! My god! Threw the fucking goalpost into the... Holy! Damn! I, 
I think Renekton went in. It looked like Lucian's ult was coming out of him. Because he was shooting towards red side, like double lift's way. Mm. <laughs> I'll see it again. That that was weird. Oh. Just, just a kill? Just a kill? Oh no! Uh, Heartbreaking. Oh my god. Nah, but like, I, I get Bjergsen props for going for that. Like, that's honestly not a play Bjergsen would normally go for. Like, I mean, that he's, looked he's, good. He just got fucked yeah, by Yeah, I mean, that, that was fine. It's just, if I happen to be there, unlucky. I don't, I, I'm not even like upset at Bjergsen if I'm on 100 Thieves for that. All right, here we go. Let's see Lucian ult. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I, I was so confused when I saw it. I literally thought there was a Silas in there. But then I was like, I only see Renekton. <laughs> that got me mind fucked. Not gonna lie. That done got me fucked up. Oh, dude, wait, he canceled an auto. Oh, God. He got Vialton. Nothing can cook. I think he actually kills him. Again, that was a really tough start to the game for River. He's recovered nicely here in the back half. Now, yeah. Maybe he f should just flash out of the grab. Flash out of Victor W. And just stand still in auto. Oh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Oh, that's some pretty good wave clear. <laughs> No follow up on on who he chunking those range minions like that. Like oh, oh fuck. Oh no synergy for Golden Guardians there. <laughs> oh, this is fucking funny. Getting a lot of goose right now. Dude, it's fine. I I I I love seeing this though yeah. more than people just not doing anything and and losing. Dude, hell yeah. Just fucking try something, man. <laughs> Who put those minions there? That is so lucky. Oh my god. Oh, he gets the cannon. Millionaires showing up to work. Flash cubing minions. Unbelievable. They just don't care. Ooh. Oh, they missed. Bye bye. Oh, the flash bubble, and he's gone. Here's Gail. Ooh. Ah. Ah, who put that trap there? Ooh. Ah. Congratulations, double lift. 2,600 assists! Uh-oh, Stixay. Wait, I think they could have brute forced that kill, yeah, but it would have been pretty ugly. He could have ulted. Shouldn't he ult there? I, I get cleanse or flash? Oh, he doesn't have cleanse. Yeah, I mean, I think ulting, sure. I was thinking he could just walk at him and root him, but... Yeah, a lot of these things are like easier to see because it could have got weird. Like pe people could have TP'd to the turret. I, I think, like I think you, it would have been pretty weird. You don't think you just ult there, and if you don't follow it? No, no, I think ulting is good. I think you should ult there, but like actually being able to dive and get him. Oh shit, this word. What Did you ult huh. that? Who he? I don't what? Think, yeah, I don't think you ult that. What the fuck? That's like typing high in alt chat when a jungler is sitting on a ward or something. Like, yeah. What? That's literally like you can set up such huge plays. It's like they just don't let them waste time. Yeah. As soon as they know they're spotted, it, it changes everything. It's quantum mechanics. Things change when they're observed or whatever. I don't know. Dude, wait. They're letting Renekton get his Radiant for free? Oh what? My God. Is Stixay actually S tier? And we've been fed lies and deceit? Uh, he's been looking pretty good these past few weeks. I will, I will give him credit. He's getting a lot of kills and getting a pretty fed. And he's been doing a pretty good job with his lead. Mm -hmm. Not really throwing, getting the job done. Yep. Props.
to Mr. Trevor Hayes. Trevor Hades. Oh, that dodge by the plug. How come the, this is the second Lucian going PTA instead of first strike? They finally listened to Sneaky. Let's go. They just don't like gold anymore. Ooh, but going rapid fire second without the first strike seems All right. like... He didn't listen to Sneaky anymore. That part seems a little bit anti-synergistic. I feel like the first strike kind of smooths out the rapid fire's weakness by just plowing through your next item much quicker. Like, it's actually an income item with first strike because it just makes it easier to Brock. He's not going RFC, he's going Runans. Oh, okay. Dude, is Tenacity actually just getting big dogged off his tower like this? Big dog. He's kind of getting gapped. Real quietly, Licorice is just slow stroking him to death. I mean, it's, he's just respecting, no? I mean, a lot of respect, giving up turrets. Well, he moved. I think he was actively looking for the play, not because he was going to lose the turret. Yeah, but like... And he ended up doing it and getting seen early. Uh -huh. Surprised he didn't have Sweeper up for it. Like, that play is only really... That, that wasn't really like a guaranteed play or something, though. Like No. Th that was like a hope play. It's like, yeah, I can't hold top anymore. Like, I need to try to make something happen, but... I felt more like that than like, a, oh, this is actually a good thing I can look for. Yeah. There's no guaranteed. Usually I feel like the good moves are one where it's like you force the enemy team to make a hard decision, right? It's like they lose something or other. But this one's just like, well, if they kill themselves, I'm here. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying it was a good decision from Tenacity because I don't know what it was based on. But like no, the, 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 the first move. You're supposed to know that, dumbass. I can't read his mind. Maybe he thought it was good. Maybe he thought he saw an angle because it didn't oh, have flash. Oh, well, if he thought it was a good play, then I guess it has to be good. Nope. I just don't think he's scared of Renekton. That's all I'm saying. It's fine. I have that screen. Do you have that option on? I think so, yeah. If it DCs, it doesn't like... Yeah, this shit's nice. Totally drop every viewer. Yeah. Because normally, if, like, if you didn't have that oh option, my God. Rivers. it would just close the stream for anyone who had it open. <laughs> wow, that was really the most aggressive thing River could have done there. Oh. Got Lucian sums. What is Lucretia have Mercs? I mean, there's a lot of fucking CC, but I, this is actually a hard decision. I don't know. What, what would you go? Mm, I think, think it depends what you have in your secondary tree. I think he has resolve, but I don't know what he's running. Yeah, I mean, if if you have like unflinching, and definitely has tenacity, tenacity, right? Yeah, like legend tenacity. I mean, I depend. You could get alacrity. Some Renekton's do. Like if, I think like he you can get an advantage out of lane from attack speed. Surely he went tenacity this game with I don't know Orin Maokai being these opponents. I mean, it, yeah, I think it's the best fine. Setup, like, yeah, the, the Tabby will help against Triss Lucian, but I think you're still pretty fucking tanky, and you can go, like, Randuins or something next if you really want to be tanky. He should definitely get the Warden's Mail like that. That effect is really strong. This looks like a really... Uh, oh, my God. Wait, Beerson got canceled? How did that work? What? That seems so forced. Wow. Yo, that's game over. That's actually GG. That's not a great time and place to die. <laughs> Wait. Right in front of Baron as it spawns. <sighs> Triss can jump. Vile, right? I think so. Because he, I mean, I, he, I he tried to use it. it. I mean, he was, he was trying to jump it. And I think he just mistimed it, and he relied on it working. Yeah. This wow. Looks really YOLO by Golden Guardians. Maybe he didn't oh, think he, got, he was the one he targeted. Yeah, he fucked it up. Oh, and then Lux followed up. Well, he, he just fucked it up, like the timing. If that's yeah. real, which I'm pretty sure it is. I don't think it cancels it. Like, if you fuck it up, then yeah, you get canceled. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's like you, you have to get same thing with like Trish jumping a blitz hook. Like, there's a time when it works. You you want it to hit you during the cast time of your rocket jump, not once you start moving. Yeah, once you start moving, you'll get canceled. But the wind up cannot get canceled. Like once you start winding up, you, the jump will go through. The the weirdest one to learn, I think, is Trish jumping Rakan W. Because like, if you just try and react the fastest possible, you're fucked. Yeah, you'll go too early. Yeah, because mm -hmm. Rakan's kind of slow. But if you just relax when it comes at you and you just take it slow, you'll get it every time. Mm -hmm. Oh, they actually get dragged. Okay. Not quite as GG. I mean, by all means, this game's over. Uh, like, there's legit no way for Hunter Thieves to win. But, I mean, maybe... You're really going to say that about uh, Daddy Lift? Oh, like, given the state of the game, yeah. Okay, so... You lose a fight like that at Baron, it's just over. Okay, it's completely crazy on statistic GG. time. Assuming Hundred Thieves lose this game because it's looking quite grim, they'll have a worse record than TSM in the first round robin. Oh. Trish is strong now, but it's really hard for her to hit. Is there a reason Doublelift doesn't just dash in on Gory and one shot him? Uh, he's kind of scared of Victor. Oh my God. He, he's had some past traumas with the champ. Oh. Ah. I think, I mean, Vi is pretty damn squid. Dude, every Vi is taking Aftershock now. Dude, all these reasons in chat, and I, I put reasons in quotes, for like why Aftershock's being taken now, they're always so troll. It's just like, to describe dude, what, what Aftershock changed does. from every Vi taking Conquer to Aftershock? They're like, well, Medios, it's because she gets armor MR when she CCs someone. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. good at CCing people, so therefore I'm just like, that's what the rune always does, motherfucker. You're like, what <laughs> changed was the question, not what does Aftershock do? I'm yeah, fucking stupid. Exactly. This is a good point. Someone said it's because it'll make Vi tanky when she engages. That That's actually really smart, because oh. like, I guess before, when you were taking Conqueror, you weren't really in gauging and you didn't need to be tanky yeah never mind it's, it's, it's shit again <laughs> xd let's go 100 thieves oh okay oh, we initiate. okay they're throwing they're throwing they're throwing it's, it's over it's over they win they win they win they win, they win. Ooh, river's dead oh really dude oh river's dead so smart river just got cc'd and banged Hmm. I mean, they can just... Aftershock didn't save him there, did it? I don't know. So why he... doesn't he take Guardian? That way, it would have proc'd <laughs> if he's near a teammate. It would have given him more armor MR, even if he didn't land a CC. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Why near Guardian? Okay. Do they actually give control here? GG? Huh. Probably. The frontline got completely shit on. I guess Victor doesn't have Flash. I mean, I, I figured... They could just hold the fucking area pretty well if Victor's just chilling there. The TP would throw him off, though. Oh my god. Oh wait, he got Nami bubbled? Wow. Oh, nice wait. little Abusio there. River Q would in, in, got born ulted, Maokai rooted, and Nami bubbled. That Q in was pretty weird. Wait. Yo, he has no smite. Not even gonna try. Both has no smite. Why does he not have smite? What? There's no good reason for your smite to be down at this point in the game. That's so troll. This is awkward. Wow, that was a lot of damage on 6A. From nothing. He isn't a PT. Pretty good anti-siege tech. Nami ult, Orn ult, Maokai ult. Legit three <laughs> slow-moving fucking things. And Lucian ult. Not quite the same, but... And Tristan ult. Legit nah, but what if we combo. all just grouped into the fucking side lane, gave them the perfect front-to-back formation? 
What if we did that? How, okay, better question. How is this shit working? Walk up and I'll attack him. Auto. Hit him. <laughs> Bridgen on in a different dimension from the rest of his team right now. True. I guess they're scared to fight with no alts. I feel like you could have made that way harder for Golden Guardians. Their initiation was pretty good. I'm surprised they couldn't follow it up. I guess they're only follow-ups fucking 280 carries, though. Bjergsen goes in, gets fucking violated. as Trist. Goofs the cancel, dies. Yo, he built Randuins. He did it. Yeah. I'm so proud of my client. He's the best Croc. <laughs> He's such a good, cute little crocodile. Why is he not using grade. skins? Does little bro oh think god. he's faker? Uh, probably. Oh my god, they got closer's flash there? Oh, wow, Pearson is... blocked it? Stop spoiling your jungler. Oh. He's gonna get used to this and expect it every time. Oh. That is just, that is an irresponsible pet owner thing to do. You're so ahead of me, by the way. <laughs> Wait, what are you at? 21. 22. Oh, shit, how do you get so behind? Okay, I'll pause at 30. 25. Wait, Evan. Wait, 8. 29. 30. I knew you were going to start counting like a fucking spaz. I was ready. We were discussing the usefulness of a full tank Renekton. Saying that it's kind of just picked because it doesn't lose lane and it can win early. It, I mean, it, it did win pretty hard. No, I mean, that's... I feel like that... People meme on Renekton all the time, and, like, I, I really don't think he's that bad of a champion. Like, sure, there are oh. times where he's not that... Oh. Oh. oh, my God. His butthole. The backline my just Lord. setting up on the Bjerg. Free colonoscopy. Oh! Hot damn, that was a gangbang. It's just over. It's just over. 3 this week? Yep. No. Why didn't he dash in? That was the moment. That was the moment. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him. Kill Victor. Ooh, kill him. Ooh. Oh, God. Is he going to do it? Victor. He's thinking about memes. it. For the memes, just He's do thinking it. about just it. Do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just oh! do it. Oh! <laughs> 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 no! <laughs> no! Not the victor again. The victor incident. Oh. It's, it's so painful. Not like this. Wait, so Golden Guardians started out 0-4, and now they're 5-0? That's actually... They were saying it on the broadcast, like, they didn't have Gory. And, mm. then, and then when he got there, he was jet-lagged, so they went 0-2. Oh, yeah, I remember them saying that. <laughs> it sounded like Cope, but, like, I don't know. It's pretty Sometimes real. excuses are actually, like, legit. Yeah. But it's, you still sound like a pussy saying them. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll see you tomorrow, Sneaky. Okay, I'm gonna go take a shit, I guess. Okay, didn't need to tell me that. You could just say see you tomorrow. You're welcome. All right. Goodbye. See ya.